The goal of this particular piece was we wanted to dive into the League of Legends universe with a bigger, more diverse cast. I think it's just about fleshing things out, like who are these characters? What, what is the world really like that they live in? Because when you play the game, you get a very small piece of, of a much broader story that we want to tell. The cinematic of this depth leads to champion discovery. It forces us to go deeper into understanding the characters that we're trying to portray. For one, you know, there, there's significantly more detail in the art and the textures and the models that we're putting forth. When we're up close and personal on someone's face, like how are, how are they going to react to a situation? We have to really understand their personality. We had to kind of find a balance and, and look for good moments where we could say something about a character in the middle of what they were doing. One of my favorite moments is when Draven steps in on Leona's sword, kneels down, and he's just like, sucks to be you. You know, he doesn't have to say it. He just has that look on his face. The big meme that Brad was reinforcing was, Graves is not impressed. <laughs> Nothing, it nothing impresses <laughs> Graves. He's seen it all. And we tried to reflect that in the acting choices that he makes throughout. And then when you do see him get a little bit scared and you do see him get bested by Nautilus when he barely gets his gun up in time and it's sort of shattered by the anchor, seeing a little bit of fear in Graves is also a kind of a cool moment. Every character has to feel different, has to move different. In League of Legends, if if somebody swings an axe a certain way, Brad always describes this, if they swing an axe a certain way, no other character in the history of League can swing in that same way because they, they all have their sort of animation identity. Then on the form side, it's their silhouette, you know, their proportions, their size, every single one of those things, all those little ingredients equal the sum of making someone a unique individual. For Darius, you know, we went with the strong jaw, the size of his eyes, the, the way his lips are, and even the, the wideness of his nose gives him that hulking sort of alpha look. <laughs> Ari, we wanted to sell that fox-like structure to her, and so there are these very minor things done with her face and the way her eyes are spaced and her nose and her lips. Of course, there's the ears and the tail, but even in her movement in the piece, we actually went with a very slick, sleek, sort of evasive movement style for her to bring out this fox side. <laughs> One of the great challenges we had uh, with the sound for the cinematic was creating something that a player could close their eyes watching the cinematic and then instantly know that that's the character that they know and love from the game. From a sound perspective, it always starts with Foley. Foley is basically recording all of the stuff that uh, sounds that a human being can actually reproduce. So it's doing a lot of armor, leather, cloth movement, footsteps. Foley is very important for storytelling because it's animation, so there's no production track to start with. So every movement of each one of these characters has to be custom hand designed. Leona was was really difficult just because we had taken up the kind of big badass armor space with, with Darius. And so for Leona, we actually went and we looked for different kind of really high-pitched elements that almost had a, a sunshine kind of feel to them. All right, you guys, here's a playback. Musically, I definitely want it to feel different. Every character needs kind of their own element and their own character musically. And that takes time to find, you know, um, because there's only so many instruments in the world. Nautilus was really difficult because um, what does a huge dude that's a running submarine sound like, right? When you think about it, it's a pretty straightforward approach. All right, he comes from underwater. Let's go underwater.
I think we want players to come away with this feeling a, a stronger connection to the characters that they play as. I play Jax a lot, and seeing him in cinematic form gives you a lot more of, a, of a, an attachment to the character. You know, I can say, like, that's Jax. And I can go, because I, I play Darius a lot, I can go, yeah, and I owned you by, <laughs> by grabbing you and tossing you. It's, it's those conversations that can happen. It really is like something made out of passion and love, so that our players, when they see it, they will enjoy it just as much as we enjoy making it. Let's make more cool stuff for our players so that we can see it too.